Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstock Reviews, and today we are here with a Colt King Cobra. And like I promised you, we're going to find out how it behaves compared to um, 38 Special versus 357 Magnum. We're going to use very similar uh, projectiles from the same manufacturer, which is Federal Ammunition Premium uh, Hydra Shock in 38 Special, which is a 129 grain bullet in 38 Special, Hydroshock, with a 357 Magnum, 130 grain Hydroshock. So basically it's the same, almost the same bullet on a different case. One is 357 Magnum, one is 38 Special. So we're gonna start with 10% gel. We're using clear ballistics gel. Okay, like I said before, clear ballistics is a reusable gel that we use, I will say, for scientific purposes and enter entertainment purposes too, because um, the pro, there's pros, pros, and pros and cons. The standard for the industry is called ordnance gel, but the problem with ordnance gel is that it's an organic material, and you can only use it once, and it rots. It literally stinks after in the heat and all that. Um, but it shows permanent wound channels and all that is really really cool. Now, the only problem with it, like I said, it decays. It, it's like organic material, it'll eventually decay. Now, with uh, the clear ballistics, we have something that is clear. You can actually see through it. It's almost, I want to say transparent, but very close to it. And, the, you know, it's about n between 95 to 98% compared to the ballistic, or ballistic ordnance gel. So, I like clear ballistics. I can use this over and over again. I apologize for the shape of my blocks. Uh, they're usually nice, six by six by 16. This one is something by something by 16 because I left them in the back of my car too long in the Arizona heat and they melted a little bit and they got misshapen. So I apologize. Let's go ahead and shoot um, 38 Special first through the Colt King Cobra, three inch barrel. Like I said, 129 grain. We're gonna do first round. See how it goes. Fire in the hole. I think that went straight through. Let me shoot another one. That can't be. Uh, that's not right. Let's do it again. Yes, it did. It went straight through the 16 inch block of ballistic gel. I'm gonna have to use, we happen to have 20% ballistic gelatin. So let me, let me go and reset a block of 20% gel and we'll gonna see if we can stop this uh, 38 specials. Be right back, stand by. You know, this is television. You're not gonna see any delay. We're just gonna make it nice. So stay tuned, I'll be back. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We got a 20% block of gel down range. Let's go it again, 38 special first. Stop that one. Let's do one more round with 357 Magnum. You're gonna notice the difference in this one here. Oh yeah, that was a big boom. Let's go down range and look at the gel and see what we can get. Well, actually, this is very interesting. The wound cavity created by the 57 Magnum was just extensive. The bullet mushroomed like you wouldn't believe, and it went only, let me measure it, went only 10 and a half inches but the wound cavity, as you can see here on the top round, is a whole lot more devastating than the wound cavity caused by the 38, which did not mushroom that much. And like I said, the difference between the two rounds is one grain in weight. It is 129 grains on the 38 Special and 130 grains with the 357 Magnum. 
but it's going a whole lot faster. It is actually expanding a whole lot more. Just to verify my results, I am going to shoot one more uh, 38 Special and one more 57 Magnum. Okay, now the 57 Magnum. Oh, it shakes, it really shakes that ballistic block. Let's go look at the results and be back with a summary. Okay, we got really interesting results out of the 20% um, gel. Some of the 38s did not expand 100%. Um, and some of them did fairly well. Um, we didn't shoot that much ammo to get like five, six rounds of each. We just shot a couple of rounds of each just for, you know, for our purposes. We're not doing anything scientific here. But the 30, 57 Magnums mushroomed like incredibly compared to the 38s. Um, I think the 20% gel was a little bit too powerful for the 38 and didn't allow it to expand like it should have. But I didn't understand why the first time we shot it, it went all the way through. Um, we tested it again and it worked okay 50% of the time. So it's kind of odd, it's 50-50 I guess. Um, stay tuned for more. We're going to be doing more ballistic testing with different calibers and see how they compare to each other. It, is, it will be very interesting to see how um, two kinds of 9mm compare and how deep they go depending on the uh, barrel length and the pistol. So stay tuned for more. This was the Cold King Cobra on ballistic gel with, again, Federal uh, Hydroshock ammunition in 357 Magnum and 38 Special. Stay tuned for more and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.